Are you looking for a fight? Well, you came to the right place. Come on, man. Come on, get those fists moving. Good stuff. Man, come on. It's unfortunate you have to come here at all, but in 2012, there are still hungry people in our community. 7,000 people, lots of kids involved. Head straight for that pier over there. This is Pier A, Ogden Point in James Bay, the place to bring your donations for a huge food fight that's just round the corner. Good stuff, take a two second break. Two seconds, start again, come on James. Let's, let's get at it. All right, Brent, so is this where we go in and drop off the stuff? I think so. Try the door, James. All right, let me open it. Let her, let her have it. As the toughest man on television, I'm ready to start bringing it if you are. Wow. Oh, wow. It's just like a real boxing arena. Do you think this would be good for you, James? What's your uh, main goal here? How about 120 tons of non-perishable punishment? How about another 120 tons of perishable items. Look at all that empty space down there. Six Canadian communities will see how much food they can raise in 48 hours. Greater Victoria being one of the challengers. Always make sure you keep your chin down. Brent Palmer of the Mustard Seed in Victoria. He's been fighting poverty and hunger for 25 years. This one here is a knockout one. You see? Gotta beat him. He wants to coach us all to victory this time around. I'm the trainer, you're the guy that should be doing all this work, so here's the gloves. For the past two years, <laughs> we've had our potatoes fed to us by Regina. Yeah, you keep sending us your potatoes and we'll take care of them. Last year, the people of that city raised over 250 tonnes of food for their food bank. Uppercut. We in Victoria came in third place with 65 tonnes. Watch out, Regina. Here's a new guy on the circuit. Beat by Regina, by a bunch of prairie fairies. They need to know the West Coast beats most. Now I know why they call them pumpkins. I've heard the Canadians put up a good fight. Vimy Ridge, Olympic hockey, George St. Pierre. Yeah, we got the goods. And to show that this fight is official, the mayor of Victoria, Dean Fortin, is putting his dukes up too. Nice, Dean. What do you need to see from your people in order to win this one? Well, we need people to go out, volunteer. We need people to take it on in their office to gather as much food as they can. Become a, a team leader, take that on, that leadership role, and then bring your cans down to, as you can see, the Ogden Point Pier A, October 11th. That's the day. This is what you call real boxing. North Battleford, Saskatchewan, and Halifax, Nova Scotia are two other hopeful contenders. And for the first time, Kitchener-Waterloo want to kick at the can. I think that's cheating. Kitchener-Waterloo sounds like two places. So to make the fight more fair, this year we've got the Sydney and Goldstream Food Bank on the team. Making the collection more regional, the population of Victoria by itself is only 80,000. So who's going to win now? You see that, Regina, Halifax, North Battleford? Last year, between Halifax, Regina and Victoria, we raised over $2 million worth of food. You know who the winner was? The people that need it. Thank you to everyone. Let's make it even better this year. In James Bay, I'm James Green. After throwing well, the towel. Might as well throw the towel in right now. <laughs>